Hi, in this second video now, we're going to talk about span and basis. So the span we, we defined previously is basically defined by a given set of vectors. So again, vectors can be anything in the vector space. It could be a set of k matrices, it could be a set of k polynomials of degree n, so forth. So it's defined by the set of given vectors. The set of all linear combinations of those vectors is the span. The span is infinite in all the directions of the given vectors. Okay, so, so that's, that is the, uh, the definition then of span. We're going to be using the concept of span quite a bit. It's the set of all linear combinations of a set of vectors. A basis... B of the vector space V is a set of linearly independent vectors in V. Okay, so vec the vector space is this space. And so a basis basically is making it concrete, and that is it's picking as many independent vectors as there are in this vector space. So here, the span of the set of vectors is equal to the vector space. So notice that ba the B is not the vector space. B is just a, a particular choice of vectors whose span is equal to the vector space. Okay, there, this is not unique. Oh, and, and actually I'll talk about that here. Every element in the vector space can be expressed as a linear combination of the elements of the basis. So this is one of the, the, the values of, of working with the basis. The basic, the basis basically provides kind of like a, a framework in which to work with the vector space. It gives you specific values to work with instead of just having this vector space. Okay, so every element in the vector space can be expressed as a linear combination of elements in the basis. The basis is not unique. In general, there are an infinite number of bases. The dimension of the vector space is equal to the number of elements of the basis. Okay, so there, since they must be independent, then then we have as many elements in B as is the dimension of the vector space. So just by way of examples, here's a vector, V1. For a single vector, the span of that vector is just a line in that direction. Okay, so boom, there's the span. Okay. It, it goes to infinity in both directions. Here I have two collinear vectors. That is, they're on the same line. The span of those two vectors is, in fact, just the line. Here I have two independent vectors. That is, they're not pointing in the same direction. In this case, the span is the entire plane. So in the plane, I could have a lot of vectors, but the span is still just the plane. Okay, So it's always still on the same plane, and so that's the span. In three dimensions now, so this is a three-dimensional graph, x, y, and z, the vectors could lie on a line, in which case the span is that line. The vectors could lie on a plane in three-dimensional space. The span is that plane. If, if you have a set of vectors that are all on the plane, and then you have one vector that's not on the plane, then the span of those vectors is actually the entire space for three dimensions. So that's the concept of the span, and that's also the concept of bases.